I really can't tell you where it started. I just know it was always Mark Martin. Well, my Mark Martin story is I, I used to work with him on the Winn-Dixie days. I actually worked on this car, and this car was a wrap. They, they wrapped it instead of painting it. And um, at the end of that race, I actually pulled the wrap off the race car, and I have it hanging in my garage. So that's, what's, that's what this picture is, is right here, is the actual wrap off the side of the car that, that actually raced. Um, I actually went to my first NASCAR race in 1993, I believe it was. It was a Bush race, a then Bush race at Charlotte. Um, and Mark was driving the 60 Win dixie car and won the race. So um, that just kind of amplified my fandom from, for him. I'm from Arkansas, and while I was growing up there, uh, it was kind of hard to find people that had kind of made it out of Arkansas and did something cool. And he was the first guy that I noticed growing up on TV. They're saying, you know, he's out of Batesville, Arkansas. And so that kind of lit a fire into me thinking, you know, uh, well, you know, he got, he did something cool. He's from here. And so it's kind of that, that homeboy. Man, I'm, I'm a nineties kid. So, so what part of my story isn't Mark Martin's story? You know, growing up, it, it was Mark Martin, it was Earnhardt, and it was all those guys, and, and that's what I think of when I when I think of NASCAR in general. That's the first place my mind goes, and that's what I grew up aspiring to be like, and that's why I'm here today. Oh man, it's it's awesome that we do these throwback races. I love kind of taking that heritage with us, and to do it with someone like Mark Martin, who's had a career of you know ups and downs, and that's kind of what you know. We're trying to get that speed back, and we're having to kind of tap into that same determination that he would show up to the track with here this season. So I think this is a perfect time for us to sport out this and really finish, you know, work on finishing the season strong. It's more sentimental for me because I would have seen this car run back in the day. So it's really cool for me uh, to be a part of that now coming back around. It's kind of like everything comes full circle from watching that car as a kid on TV to now building it to go on the racetrack. Your legacy is what you leave behind. And anybody, anytime anybody does a throwback of you or thinks of you in the present and the past tense, it's really awesome, you know? I mean, because you could do a throwback of anybody. So for them to pick Mark, that's saying a lot about Mark himself.